We want Cody Part 3, the WrestleMania XL press conference. Wrestling fans, welcome back to my channel, The X2S. Nice. If you like pro wrestling, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on the post notification buttons so you can stay up to date when we release more in this awesome series of We Want Cody. Make sure you subscribe. On today's episode, we're talking about tonight's WrestleMania XL press conference. Here on February the 8th of 2024, we're going to have a huge WrestleMania press conference tonight. And we got two things to talk about today on episode three. And that is number one, well, what's the announcement going to be? And number two, we've got to keep our eyes on a few things tonight. Because there's going to be a lot of nonverbal things going on that could give us some clues as to where this saga and story is going. So let's dive right into number one, and that is the announcement itself. Are we going to get a clear-cut announcement of Roman Reigns versus The Rock or Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes and the story continues? That's the big question everybody wants an answer to. Will we get an answer to that tonight? And I'm not quite sure we will. I believe they're going to tease us yet again. Of course, The Rock coming into the ring, whispering in Cody's ear, ushering Cody to the back, Rock and Roman stare down. That was a big tease. There was no official announcement made. They didn't point to the WrestleMania sign. There hasn't been an official announcement since. Now, I know that We Want Cody movement played a big role in that. Maybe there was an announcement coming. But that hasn't been made, and that is the big question on tonight's press conference is will they make that announcement official? Will it be Rock and Roman tonight? And I believe we're going to be teased yet again. I think they're going to this time, it's going to look like they're about to announce the Rock and Roman at WrestleMania, and this time Cody Rhodes is going to step in and possibly whisper something in the Rock's ear. And I think we're going to be this is turning into an angle. This did not start out as a work, but it's turning into one. It's turning into an angle, and I think we're going to be teased tonight. But, it, but you know, I could be completely wrong. They might just flat out announce Rock and Roman, Seth and Cody tonight, but I don't think they're going to. I think we're going to get teased yet again to keep the saga, the story going, baby. Okay. So, number two on the big press conference tonight, how does everything look? Aesthetically speaking, how does Triple H look tonight? The game's going to be there. He's advertised as being there. Does he look powerful? Does he look like a man in charge? Does he come across dominating? That is a huge question. If you go back to episode part two of our We Want Cody series, and I highly suggest if you've not listened to part one and two, go to part one and two, specifically part two. Make sure you go over the point I'm trying to make about this is a power struggle. There is a power struggle taking place before our eyes. It isn't just Cody's story being disrupted. It is The Rock coming in and exerting his power amongst the WWE. And he has a lot of power. So go back and watch episode part two where we go a little more in-depth about The Rock and his role here. But how Triple H comes across tonight is going to be very indicative of what's to come. Also, will Brian Gwertz be there tonight? That's a big one too because The Rock is slowly reintroducing Brian Gwertz to the WWE Universe and if something happens to Triple H, well, guess who's going to probably take that role? It's going to be Mr. Brian Wirtz, who has, by all means, done a fantastic job in the years past producing WWE television. He's got the experience. He's got some very big people that support him as references. So is he there tonight? Okay, that's going to be a big question that we need to get answered. And we, of course, will do a follow-up tomorrow, part four. Uh, but we'll just be a summary as to what happened at tonight's WrestleMania XL press conference. There is a slim chance that we get up part five tonight. Uh, th there is a chance. So we could get that episode up tonight. I'm not sure. 
But is Gwertz there? Is Nick Khan there? How does Nick Khan come across? Who comes across as more in charge? Is Ari Emanuel there also? I think Emanuel will be there. It's in Vegas. Um, but what role does he play in tonight's press conference? These are little things that people aren't talking about that you really need to pay attention to. Um, and the big one here is Triple H. Okay. Is, does he come out and look as dominating as he normally does? As in, and what I mean by dominating is in charge, right? Triple H usually comes out and does a great job. His last press conference at the post-Royal Rumble, you, you go back and watch it, I don't think he was as in control as he had been. And then when he was unable to answer that question, which what should have already, he should have had an almost a token response to that question. But he didn't get it. He didn't give a token response. He declined to really to give any information, and said that he hadn't read the indictments, which I find hard to believe. Everyone finds that hard to believe. And what that tells me is he wasn't giving some sort of a token response from the people above him. So I think they wanted to, in essence, that was a trap for Triple H. What was he willing to divulge? Um, how did he look? He, he should have came up with his own token response, but he didn't get one from the higher-ups. But how will Triple H respond tonight? How does he look? How does he look at this press conference? Those are going to be the big things that we're going to keep an eye on. And then, of course, go back to number one is what will the announcements be? Will they announce Roman versus The Rock or we will, or will we get Cody versus Roman? Again, I believe we're going to be teased yet again. I don't think we're going to get a whole lot of answers. I think they're going to ride this saga out now. And I think that's what's going to happen again. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit those post notification buttons because we. Pr I probably will try to do a part four tonight because this is going to be so hot tonight. Uh, I'm going to work on that and have that episode ready so it's it'll be fresh off the press r somewhat tonight. Probably nine o'clock is going to be my target for tonight's part four as we answer the questions we've laid out here just now in part three of the We Want Cody, hashtag We Want Cody saga. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. Support the We Want Cody movement because this thing's still in play. They're looking across the, the social media and all the We Want Cody movement stuff. They're looking, they're paying attention. There's a chance they're even watching these videos, seeing what kind of response there is. So make sure you guys are, you know, hashtagging we want Cody in the comments down below on as many things as you can. Make sure you're disliking or whatever it is The Rock's doing to keep this movement going, okay? I hope you have a blessed day. Make it a twice as nice day. See you tonight at 9 o'clock.